So first off, Amazon, Walmart, and Target all, I would say, were firing on all cylinders for the past you know, two years through the pandemic and really through 2021. Um, but the last couple of quarters, you know, they've they've had tougher quarters. I'm a little bit forgiving of that because I think they had such uh, ridiculous comps to go up against that it was hard to to generate really any growth. So they're maintaining that those elevated levels of spending um, in the core business, and then they all have relative strengths. Uh, Walmart and and Target, obviously, with their brick and mortar footprint and Amazon, uh, which I think has growing ambitions um, to do that with Amazon Fresh and Amazon Style. Um, but that's going to take some time. So where they're all at is they all are dealing with you know the constraints amid this era of uncertainty. Um, and you know one of the ways that they will help navigate uh, this period of time, particularly on the bottom line, is through uh, the expansion of their high margin ad businesses. Um, we've seen a lot of momentum, obviously, with Amazon. It's according to our data, about seventy five percent of the market. Walmart is number two at about six or seven percent. Um, I think what's happened is that Amazon has has really you know set the curve for everyone else, and they're all following Amazon's lead. But Amazon has gotten very crowded. We, we're seeing you know a ratcheting up of of ad impressions. So there's opportunity in this second tier. Um, and I think that Walmart is particularly well positioned for this moment. Um, Target starting to scale their business, and then I'd extend that, you know, especially in the CPG space to Kroger and Instacart as well. So I, I think this is where it starts to get really interesting. Is this is the time where that second tier really starts to scale? Um, I think they all have really distinct advantages. Um, in Walmart's case, it's the offline footprint. It's multi-category. Um, Target is similar. Um, Kroger. Obviously, focus on grocery, huge offline footprint. They have a, a data advantage, um, I think, with uh, with AE 451. And then Instacart, um, I, I really think that that they're doing a nice job scaling um, their business uh, in advertising. And I think the fact that they cut across so many grocery retailers, um, you know, they're kind of representative of, of offline sales in, in a big way. So that's kind of their core advantage. Um, the one I would, would spotlight at this moment in time, though, I think is Walmart, because they're already showing evidence of scaling. I think they still have some uh, wrinkles to iron out on, on the business to continue to improve it, but I think they will. And um, with Seth Delaire in charge of that business, um, I think his experience from Amazon and Instacart is, is just going to be really crucial to accelerate Walmart's path. And in fact, we just saw them move to a second price uh, auction model, which I think is, uh, from what I've heard from a lot of CPGs, pretty critical um, to, to win those those dollars. So I, I think we're going to start to see that Walmart business really continue to scale um, over the next couple of quarters, you know, with the caveat that all of the ad spend might be a, a bit compressed here as we get through the, the back half of the year.